just checked into my Airbnb. It's currently pouring down rain, but I'm starving, and so I'm gonna go try and find somewhere for lunch. I just, I did clean up a little bit. I put on my new Orium earrings, which I love, they're the cute little flowers. But I kind of feel like I should put on, I don't know, I feel like I should dress up more because it's fashion week here, but I'm just going out to grab lunch and stock up on some groceries. I head out, I have to show you guys the view. I'll do a full tour later when my stuff is fully unpacked. Because right now I kind of have it spread around a little bit, but look! I love the classic London streets with these beautiful white buildings, as well as there's a little park. We're right by Buckingham Palace, too. <gasps> I have to say I feel so much relaxed having an entire week here. My last few trips to London were mostly for a little bit of fashion week, but because my ex lived here and they were super quick, like just little blips over to say hi. But it's so relaxing because I was trying to decide where to have lunch and I was thinking, oh, I should try this new place over by where I'm staying. I'm going to go there for dinner actually, but I kept on passing about a few places, but I don't really feel pressured to go to those right now while I'm tired because I really just want something quick that I'm going to like that's kind of healthy. So I'm just going to run by Olstein and have an avocado toast. But it's so relaxing that I can know that I can try those on other days. recently because y'all know I love Sarah J Mass. I love the whole Akatar series and everything. But when I read one of this hood, I feel like I'm Selena Sarathian. And I guess if you want to get that reference, you should read the book so we can all talk about it on here. Back home now, not sure what I'm gonna do. I was gonna go to the grocery store, I was just gonna pick up a grocery bag and go, but it's pouring down rain. <laughs> Which I love the rain, but I'm tired and I have two fast shows tonight, so I might just chill here for a little bit. However, I'm a little bit afraid if I chill here I might fall asleep and then that would be bad because I don't want to sleep for hours. I could go explore in the rain. I do love to do that, but I'm just, I'm so tired. I don't know. Oh my, wow. It is suddenly beautiful out. I the nap. And I don't want to wake up. But I think I'm going to go get a chai and maybe stop by a pharmacy because I forgot like a couple of things like toothpaste <laughs> and get those at least because I don't think I'll go to the full grocery store. Maybe fix my hair and makeup and get ready for fashion shows. Oh my god. I'm so tired, but at least the weather is clearing up now so I can wear something more fun. So where my father was at a rise as a kid, he would just make us walk around, like keep us walking around outside rather than let us come back. So I would tell her something because he knew it would fall asleep and not want to wake back up. But that's kind of the mode I'm in right now. But so beautiful out. I love the buildings of London so much. I wanted to make up just a little bit more. I already have on a little bit of eyeliner, but we were going to make more intense. A little more cool, little cool girl, more cool lemon belly. Um, where are you going? Okay. We reached a point of tired where I'm talking to the camera and I love her. <laughs> oh Here it is, I'm just gonna use the Laura Marcel Mercier Coco. darkening up with a black one a little bit more because it's not it's not quite giving yet. Is he giving? I don't know. Nothing crazy, but it's touched up a little bit. I also fixed my skin with my... I always forget how much I love this stuff. It's Le Beige's by Chanel, but I just even tapped that over my concealer. Like, my skin should be way too dry to use that now, but it worked out fine. Okay, I've been thinking about wearing this belt with this coat because I feel like it kind of goes Elsa Hosk. I mean, is it Elsa Hosk belt? So I guess that would make sense. The belt color is not 100% perfect, but I do really love the way they look together. Because it does add a little something. I don't know. Because the coat's also good on its own, but I'm already wearing that. I do think I like the earrings. Okay, I think we're going to go crazy. It is fashion week. We'll go a little extra. Wear the earrings. I don't have my sunglasses off anyway, so I should try this. Where is it? I hope my losing earring luck does not continue because I love these. These are a new one from Oreo. Yeah, 
I think this is good. I can always take off the belt. I don't. Do I take off the belt? Okay, my mom is gonna laugh at me so much because this is giving 80s, but in a good way, like in a sort of like Ralph Lauren way, maybe. I I don't know. But I'm wearing these shoes again with my little lace socks. I should flip those down. <laughs> I kind of want to see a look again one more time about the belt, even though I do love a good little cinched waist moment. Let's, let's see it one more time. I'm going to have no time for dinner. No, I will. I will have... We're doing the belt. We're... No, yeah, I'm doing the belt. It's kind of crazy, but it's also fashion week. So you're supposed to go kind of crazy for fashion week. And I've always loved this look of buying a belt over a coat. Gotta represent the angel herself, little Elsa. Cute. Let's do it. I'm finally going to get dinner and a chai. I think I'm gonna get dinner and then stop and get a chai so that while I walk to the event and I can drink that. Okay, this is so scary. Did I show you how high these are? Let's see if I remember how to get back to the restaurant I want to get for dinner. Oh, I spot some fall leaves. Look at how cute this place is. It was recommended by my Airbnb. Okay, we got our chai, which is burning my hand. We're on our way to stop by my place. running so late. Oh no, those church bells mean I'm late, but I literally, the most neat thing ever just happened. I'm still wearing the six inch platforms and I saw a really cute toy poodle puppy and I was holding this and this was really hot. I literally felt my knees in cuteness. <laughs> and so I'm running a little bit late. I'm okay, but I hope I can still get into the show. In New York, most shows start 30 minutes late. So I think it's the same here. It happens the same in Paris too, but we shall see. Sometimes these smaller ones are on time. Oh no, no, I just turned and I have to go up these stairs. I'm totally gonna fall again. Oh my god, we made it. Are you kidding? I just got to the entrance and it says for events to use the entrance on the mall, which is right back down the stairs. No, wish me luck. I see fashiony people, I think we're good. Theatrical. It was very avant-garde, so not my usual thing. But it was definitely, it was very cool to see. Very artistic, and so it was fun. I'm glad I was invited. I ended up having to unzip my coat because it was so hot in there. We were all squished together, and there was lights. It's a fashion show. It is what it is, but I learned my lesson. Not probably going to do the leather jacket again. <laughs> Hopefully my show later tonight, it's in a hotel, so maybe it'll be better. I don't know, but I do have some time to cool off. I'm gonna try and find some shopping, but it's a Sunday night. Maybe I'll just find dessert. I would love some chocolate right now. Oh, a chocolate cake. Oh my God. Let's, let's go find chocolate cake. <laughs> where I got most excited over food, specifically sugary food. Do you ever walk by Billings or Speed? on the dessert mission, specifically the chocolate-oriented dessert mission. I just remember that there's a lot of really good cookie places here, like big, yummy, melty chocolate chip cookie places. And I think I just got myself to what I've been to before, but I just looked up cookies. And yeah, now we're going to cookies. It's on the way to the next event. So hopefully I can sit down there, maybe get up on Instagram. I think that there's a cookies place at the building at the end of the street that I went to before. Yes, it's right in here. It's somewhere back there, I think.
They took me out because I was having chocolate cake alone, but I just oh made God, it to the location, I think. Yes! updated you guys but I went to breakfast and I came home and took a nap <laughs> and then since then I've just been working on putting together an Instagram post playing out my day I think I'm gonna keep it really chill today because I'm really tired and I can keep it chill today so I think I might go shopping on Regent Street and I might go work at a cafe for a while so I can edit my New York Fashion Week vlog I just realized the lighting's not great in here this might be low quality I'm sorry <laughs> but oh I want to find this bird it sounds so funny, but I saw the cutest bird ever. It was like a little tiny puffball, and there was a bunch of them. And they were in the park by Buckingham Palace. So I might walk through there today because I'm staying near by Buckingham Palace and go find these three little tiny puffy birds. Sounds like sounds like a relaxing thing. I also have to find lunch. I'm now starving again. But I had the sweetest breakfast. It was basically senior citizens around me like red tie. And they were so sweet. I accidentally flicked egg across onto a different table. Did not mean I do that. I tried to cut a sandwich and it just went flying. Um, but it's okay because they all thought it was hilarious. Um, and they started talking to me. And the couple next to me was about to go to Harrods, which was super excited. They never been before they were tourists but they were telling me all about the theater there at the night before they were just so sweet everybody just ready to go i think first of all i have to find lunch because i'm starving and then i'm gonna go shopping on regent street i think that might be all and then afterwards i'll come back and work and plan to find if there's some fabric stores around here i should stop by or maybe even manufacturers because i would love to have some jackets or some wool items made over here because it's just so much nicer but yeah, I think we'll head out. Oh my god, it goes as usual. Um, excuse me, London. You're storming, turning my umbrella inside out. Five minutes ago. I know you're sunny. So is it worth it to bring a jacket? Nah. Okay, I'm gonna get rained on. I love the location where I'm staying because I could walk by Buckingham Palace so much. I don't know if it, <laughs> I don't really care if it's cheesy. I love it. I mean, it's a palace, no, princess.
guys to Paris this morning. Look at this look. Sorry the lighting's terrible. It's storming outside. I'll try best to show you. I'm wearing the pants from my brand. I'm gonna try and protect them from the rain today. It's very scary because it's storming. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go get my hair done in Notting Hill. I'll put the name of salon down here. I keep on forgetting. It's like my really well rated, so I'm super excited. But we're gonna go get a blowout and hopefully not have it destroyed in the rain. I might stop by hair. It's on my way to go grab a little snacky, but also I want to do some vintage shopping up in Notting Hill, so we'll see. so I make sure to arrive early to the salon since I am going to be posting for them. I want to be good and on time. So much beautiful and I have to go back. I have friends going to meet me and help me take photos after I go to the salon, but I don't know. Maybe I'll come back on a different day. I do have a few more days. It's just, it's a bit of a trek to get out here, but I did love, the bus was super easy and it was a pretty view. Also, it does not work while we're in an off-the-shoulder sweater. With a jacket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We actually went down the right street. Literally just got home from having two of my friends and I changed really quickly. Wait, let me show you the outfit. I'm wearing my Gabrielle with the new pants and my brand's new blazer to go to the fashion show. I think it's Wei Chen and it's at the Savile Road. No, the Savile Club. And so it should be lovely. I'm right now just waiting on a car though because my feet are sore, so I'm doing it. Good morning, my angels. I did not end up checking in with you guys last night because I was so tired after the show, but it was great. She was really impressive because she was the pianist and designer, so that was beautiful. It was quite a performance, and oh my gosh, the setting. I'm gorgeous. Lovely. <laughs> Off. Oh my gosh, these are bad. I'm tired, but I have a hair appointment now with the same guy yesterday and he's gonna cut it for me. I guess I terrified him by not having cut my hair in like three months, but I'm excited because he did such a beautiful job yesterday. I'm excited to see what a haircut will look like. Like, look at my curtain bangs. They're so long. <laughs> 
telling so many great things out here. Look at this mirror. Okay, this reminds me of the market that Kelsey and I go to in Paris. They have so many of these, but this is stunning. I need a giant pose to put it in. Again, I am yet in love with my hair. With my hair, look at it. It's even blonder. Um, you can see more in the photos and such. Oh my gosh, it's a pink townhouse. I need it. But now I'm gonna run off, have a quick lunch. Um, it's one o'clock now, and I have a tea at four. So I don't even know if it's a good idea to have food. But I barely had breakfast, so we gotta go grab lunch. Maybe do a little bit of vintage shop. so brave. I'm wearing a skirt of all things underneath this coat, but my feet are getting soaked because I only had two shoe options. My other one were monstrous heels, which just did not seem right for two things. Sure. <laughs> Do you don't mind my hair? I have it tied up so I don't lose my curls. Oh, I always forget this is an automatic, so if I move then it turns on. But she was so lovely at the Lanesboro. I'm gonna try and do a voiceover. You'll see if I did that, you will already see. But it was so good. Um I think it was I think it was better than one that we did on Drury Lane before, but it was absolutely lovely. However, the rain is a bit much. I love the rain usually, but for my outfits it wasn't ideal. But you know what? We'll enjoy all the cozy vibes of it tonight. I'm gonna go up and watch Notting Hill, I think. But right now I'm riding for a car. It, it is lovely. Cars in London are so much cheaper than New York. <laughs> Mine was literally seven pounds, which is insane. And so we're waiting for that though to go off to another event. I am tired, but you know, loving it all, of course. This one is with my management, so I'm super excited to finally meet my manager because she's based here in London. so much. I mean, just look. It's so beautiful. I mean, look at the buildings. There's a tennis court somewhere back there. But we are leaving today, sadly. Oh, gosh. Packing up this morning, so it's a little bit of a disaster, but I think we're gonna run out and go to a coffee shop. Also, I was barely talking to you guys yesterday because my phone was dead. Pretty much, well, barely, almost dead all day. And I did find stuff. I had to film for Instagram and such, and so, yeah, I didn't talk, but I already had some eggs this morning that I boiled the other night just to have prepped for when I'm starving. So I think I'm gonna head out and go get a pastry because I can't have eggs without bread. I don't know, it upsets my stomach, but I'm obsessed with my outfit. I bought this sweater yesterday. I don't know if I showed you guys in the vlog. It's from Abercrombie. It's so soft. I hope it doesn't pill. I've had really bad luck with sweaters pilling. But yeah, I also got the Alimas facial yesterday. It was so pleasant. It wasn't like an extractions facial. It's more of massage, but she did this thing where she like, scratch my hair. If you like your hair being played with, then you'll love it. <laughs> 
skin this morning is looking it's looking pretty good i still have this pimple but you know what it's a lot lower i'm afraid i might be getting one of my nose like this one is gonna disappear this one will appear it's fine it's fashion week it always happens during fashion week just because like the stress the travel i don't drink but if someone did drink it probably would be that too i might have actually been served an alcoholic beverage last night i didn't finish I had ariana grande names and so i ordered one and when he passed over it looked the exact same as one of the alcoholic ones and all the others were different like cube shapes it's not a deal like i don't care but i might have had a little bit wild for me and thanks we got the perfume which is huge though and so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to take this with me to paris we'll see i just have a few things over here we also got ariana grande playing cards i love to play cards i don't know if i need ariana grande ones even though she's iconic and amazing but so i might leave those as gifts for my airbnb host because she's really sweet and i want to come back and stay here i don't know that because i do love the perfume I need some laundry so let's ignore that but i've been obsessed with the monochrome like white on white look with a pretty sort of earring to sort of jazz it up i'm also wearing a watch a little vintage watch it doesn't even work I might, I should have gotten that fixed while I'm here because it's so much cheaper to get watches and leather fixed in London. Maybe in Paris too, I don't know. But I've been obsessed with this look, so. The whole travel day look, I was gonna change jeans in my Fairfax and Favors, but I don't know, this might be good. I added my bag and the outfit is even better. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I hope the laundry is done when I'm back. There's no time on it. But I do love that there's a laundry machine so much. I need one of these in my apartment at home. Like this is a luxury for me. I'm obsessed with it. I love doing laundry. stay here for a week how did i just figure out that this is the most perfect lighting if i set my foot i'm leaving in a few hours i have to come back here because now i know it's like i could do a makeup tutorial right here but anyway i had my scone for breakfast i'm back here going to repack i think i might shoot a little bit because i do have two hours i think before i have to leave but i'm salty on myself maybe i will film a makeup look my makeup i'm wearing hardly any right now oh i'll show you what i'm wearing same products I use pretty much every day. I always start out with this. It's actually a sunscreen, but it makes your skin so nicely moisturized and almost dewy. So if you have dry skin, amazing. My makeup sits beautifully on it. I honestly use this as a makeup primer. It's just a nice added um, benefit that it's 50 SPF. Doesn't break out my skin either. Um, wait, we'll, we'll stick with skin. So today I went a little bit wild because I'm running out my concealer and I usually just wear my rose ink concealer. I almost use it as foundation all over. Amazing for dry skin also and it's super high coverage. It's great. I love it. It doesn't look cakey. Fantastic. That's This is probably my most ride or die product probably out of all of them. In case you're wondering, I wear shade LX30. Then, yeah, I've been going wild and I've been using my Chanel Le Beiges. This is beautiful, it is expensive, but so beautiful on, again, good for dry skin. It doesn't have super high coverage, like you can still see my hyperpigmentation, but it does a really good job and I don't know, maybe I should try super high coverage sometimes. I don't know, maybe for fashion that'd be a good idea, but usually makeup doesn't look good on my skin because it's super dry, it just comes off. But I also have that very stupid little pimple up there. It's going away, but if I put makeup on my forehead, it'll just break it out more. We've been using this new Laura Mercier blush. Oh my gosh, the lighting is so good. How did I not realize this this whole trip? But I absolutely love this. It's like sort of pinky. I don't know if you can, it's pink. <laughs> and then of course, another ride or die product. I actually used to use this in high school and I recently started reusing it when they sent them to me. But it's the only mascara that won't smudge. It's because it's a tubey mascara. So like you just wipe it off at the end of the day. It's amazing. Every other mascara smudges on me and I hate little smudgies. So that's all we've been doing. Really all packed up. As you can see, I'm right now debating whether I should pack some layers maybe in my carry-on bag, but I don't know. Cause I have a feeling it will, it is kind of chilly out there and it's usually kind of cold on the trains, but you never know. Cause it could be randomly hot. I'm rambling, but I'm right now waiting for Nikki. I have about a half an hour until I have to check out. So we'll see. I left a few little goodies from events for my airbnb host i hope that she likes them i just don't have room to pack everything i love it i appreciate it but i just my bags are so stuffed and i know i have a giant package from Rafal that's supposed to be delivered today i don't know when but here today at my management's office so i don't know how i'm gonna deal with that too goodbye beautiful kitchen and apartments end of you i shall miss you I'm also so impressed I brought these down the flights of stairs all by myself. This one is so heavy. It was, I was like half pulling it down. So I ended up picking up the package from my manager and it was 
was massive. There was no way I could have fit this stuff inside my bag. So now I'm wearing a giant teddy bear coat on the train. I mean, it's like a blanket. I just look kind of silly because it's not that cold outside. But love the glamour. It's super soft. We have our little travel day lunch of some lentil soup done.